this Rob Quicken and Windows Insider MVP. Um, I wanted to walk you through today the new Windows Copilot that has surfaced in the Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 23.493, which is exclusive currently to the Dev Channel. There was no Canary Build this week. I expect to see that next week in the builds. So before we kick off, I'm just going to walk you through the the announcement uh, from yesterday. This builds, of course, on the announcement from. Microsoft Build uh, that introduced Windows Copilot, not to be confused with some of the other copilots out there. Um, most noticeable is Microsoft 365 Copilot, which I know many people are quite excited to get their hands on, including myself. I don't have my hands on that one yet. So firstly, just to note that um, in this build, which this, this device is running, this is a, a Microsoft Surface, um, Surface Pro X. You'll see here now at the bottom, there's this new icon. It's very familiar to the office icon, uh, which is over here, uh, other than it does have the word Copilot written on it. Um, point to add, spelt wrong. I think Copilot should be a uh, capital C um, and a small P with no dash between it, but I'm sure that will get fixed. Uh, anyway, this is very much the first build of, of Windows Copilot. There is quite a lot of information here on the blog site that Microsoft have shared. This will echo your Microsoft MSA account, your Microsoft um, Live account that used to be known, or your Azure Active Directory account. So it will still run within the context of your authenticated use. So if we scroll down here, you'll kind of see a little bit about what it is. It tells you about how it's going to run. So it actually docks onto a side window. So to, to, to demonstrate that now, I'm going to I'm going to initiate the Copilot. You'll see that it sits in the right hand side of Windows. So it doesn't really get in the way of the apps and services you're using. It's it's kind of like a floating toolbar and it stays there all the time. So if you're used to using the Edge toolbar, then you'll be very familiar with that. Now, the first point to note is this is the very first version of this. So it's a little bit sluggish. It's a little bit slow at times. Actually, this is the slowest I've seen it start up so far. And there's not a lot that it does that is specific around Windows. It's really just about having uh, the Bing chat, if you're familiar with that, um, right inside Windows at all times. And in fact, Microsoft have uh, opened up some of the controls within this build to be able to take action for you on behalf of Windows. So you can see here it is a little bit flaky at this point. I'm just going to refresh it and hopefully it will load. So what else can we do? So what you'll find is this will do everything that the Bing chat will do if you're used to using that at all. So you can ask it questions about almost anything it is connected to the internet. Um, it will therefore leverage information for you. Now, Microsoft did announce in the dev build uh, announcement that it will eventually do more things. So it will have more interaction with the Windows operating system than this initial version does. Um, you can see here I'm actually having trouble connecting. So I might need to come back to this demo in a little bit. So I'm going to try one more time. They always say third time lucky, don't they? So let's just kind of see what happens here when this connects. Um, and you can see here some of the things that we can do. So we can ask it to switch to dark mode. We can ask it to turn on do not disturb. We can ask it to take a screenshot for us. We can ask it to summarize a website. So this obviously requires us having Edge loaded. This does require Edge. It does require the latest version of Edge. If you're using the dev build, you should be on that anyway. We can ask it to do the normal things that we would ask ChatGPT for. So write a story, give me a summary of something, tell me about Windows Copilot, etc. Um, and of course, it will also link into uh, some of the, the tools like the Bing AI image creators and these kind of things. But you do see there are some things that it can do. Uh, within Windows. Now, weirdly, when I was testing this yesterday, I asked it lots of things and it told me it didn't have any ability to interact with Windows, um, which of course it does, but this is very early on. And over time, we this will build more, um, more functionality. So, so give it one more chance because it really does not want to play ball with me today at all. So come on, come on, Copilot, do your thing. I know it's Friday. I know it's lunchtime, but come on, here we go. Right, finally. So as you say, it is very early preview. Um, there will be some performance issues. Uh, I believe this is running locally now within our uh, EU region. Not everybody will have this initially, so it is slowly rolling out. But let's get going. So let's ask it some questions. So I'm going to ask it to summarize this web page. So please, can you... 
optimize this web page for me. And if you're familiar with using Bing Chat, then this is exactly the same kind of format. So you've got your creative conversation style, you've got your more balanced view, which is the default, and you've got the more precise model. So this is now looking at how it might summarize the web page for me. And again, it's not actually done a very good job. Um, so I'm just going to ask it to do this one more time. Um, summarize this website and we'll just see what it does here. Now this seemed to work okay for me this morning. So I do think it's having a little bit of a blurb. So yeah, it's really getting, it's, uh, it's really kind of getting confused, isn't it? It's really not working very well at all. Uh, let me ask it if it can change the dark mode. Let's give it something else to do. So let's say change to dark mode. Let's see whether it can do that. I've actually said DAC mode, not dark mode. So let's see whether it actually understands the context of what I've said. So, so it does. It has understood that. And it's actually asking me whether I want to switch to dark mode. So I can say yes. And let's see whether it actually does that for me. I think I'm actually already in dark mode. So there we go. Um, it actually can't do it. So um, although it has. So <laughs> it told me it couldn't do it. It actually has done it for me. So as I said, a little bit flaky at the moment. This is probably not the best demo, but it's a real demo of kind of what it's doing. Uh, let me ask it to take a screenshot because this will be interesting to feedback to Microsoft later through the feedback hub. Uh, there's also within the app itself, there's also a feedback function. So if you do have feedback when you're using this, please do feedback. Right, let's do that now. Let's ask it to take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot. Now, this worked perfectly for me earlier. Let's see what happens. It's looking for an action. Let's actually see what it does. So it is opening the snipping tool. So it says. Now, it says it's unable to do it. Again, did it for me earlier on. Let's give it a couple of minutes just to see whether it does actually complete the task. It looks like it's not going to complete that. OK, thank you very much. This is not the best demo. Um, Let's ask it something else. Let's ask it to do something else that's just kind of a core native um, chat service. So let's ask it to, oh, there we go. It has actually now, <laughs> while I've been doing that, it has now actually loaded up the screenshot. So you can see there's a bit of a delay in the way this is working today. And, and I imagine this is purely because so many people are probably testing this out. There will be capacity issues at the moment. This is obviously as complex AI in the background here. Um, I think this is now running locally within the EU data centers. I'm not entirely sure, but I imagine that, you know, I am in the UK that this is actually running natively. Or it could just be the huge latency because it is, in fact, running over the states. So let me ask you to write me a story. Write me a story about Rob Crickenden and his quest to create the best version of Windows ever. And let's see what it comes up with. Um, it may know who I am. It should be able to search the internet to, to find me. Hopefully I exist out there. And it should create me a story, which of course this is something that you could do within ChatGPT or something you could do within Bing Chat. But let's see what it comes up with. So this aspect of the service seems to be working um seems to be working quite well it's actually found me it's linking to my blog site which is which is really good um i can ask it who i am so all the things that you'll you'll be familiar with if you're using that before but i'm really more interested in trying to get it to do some things in windows so uh i am going to ask it please turn on light mode now i don't know whether there's a valid command i'm going to ask it to do this um Let's see if it does it. I might need to reverse the action. So yes, it has asked me. So we can see here it has said, would you like me to switch to light mode? I'm going to say yes. And hopefully if we cross everything, then this will actually change the mode. So it's telling me it can't do it yet again. But I'm hoping in a moment that uh, it will decide that it actually can do it. So there we go. So it's a little bit flaky. Um, it is three o'clock on a Friday afternoon. It's only been out for you know, less than 24 hours. So I imagine this is just purely load. Microsoft have said that this will gradually get better. They will have more functions. But in the meantime, um, please do share your feedback with Microsoft. They really value it. And, um, and happy Windows co-piloting. Hope you have a better experience than I did. Thank you.